What's up everybody and welcome to Nick's Fat where tonight we're playing Zoo Tycoon. This isn't Zoo Tycoon. I need to open it up. Gamer Boy, good to see you. Let me go ahead and pull up Zoo Tycoon. <laughs> I have to open it, but I wanted to open it in a very well, I just wanted to wait until it was ready to go. Anyway, hope you're all doing well. Uh, Gamer Boy, please have Bird as one of the attractions. Yes, sir. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Um, let me add in... I need to turn this down on my speakers. Let's see. Now, the resolution or whatever, I don't know how it's going to be. This game is from 2001. <laughs> so, so we're just going to do what we can, and it should be fine. I think we're looking for Nick's Fat. More Nick's Fat playing there. In case somebody forgets. Oh, and I didn't have like a background set up. Oh, well, that's okay. Okay. Let me just slide this in right here. Okay. Do the bo balaki. <laughs> How's it going? I tried really hard not to mess that up that time, but anyway. Good to see you both. Let me go ahead and. Ooh, we got the Zoo Tycoon music going. Here we are. Oh shoot, Diane's here as well. I knew, well I knew, but I didn't know. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna play the super cheese mode. We're probably only going to do the one zoo. Um, so we're gonna start with 500,000 smacks. 500,000 smacks. And um, this is, this was always my favorite map. So this looks cool. Uh, how do I... How do I move? That's not the only way to move in this, is it? No, it's not. Okay, so I have this in windowed mode, which is which is great. Let me make sure that I can see. It looks like I can't see everything. Dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun, which isn't a huge thing. It's just like a small thing. Um, ew, Laverne. The one she hopped up. That's so smelly. Oh, this is my this is my actual window behind the this window here. Let me fix this. Okay, that looks better. Now we can see the the full deal. It's teeny teeny tiny on my screen. It's actually this big, but we're not going to get into that. It does not matter. And um, let me go ahead and get this rolling. Okay, so we can kind of if I hit the perfect side of the border I can do that and otherwise I can just use the arrow keys <laughs> um, so let's go ahead I don't think the zoo is even open it's been a while oh it is open but $22 is way too much to charge at this point in time it's been a while since I've played this but I used to play this all the time so we've got animals we've got stuff let's go ahead and set this path up hope you're all doing okay out there hope you're all eating tomatoes oh no actually I don't I don't know if eating tomatoes is really like all it's cracked up to be uh, uh, okay look at all that what a zoo what a successful zoo all right we're gonna have to get used to this a little bit and I really it, you know if possible it would be nice just to start with kind of a smaller deal right at the beginning but I feel like we'll overwhelm the animal if we do so as soon as the zoo starts like blowing up then the animals are going to be like I don't like this anymore so let's just um, I don't like that I don't like it okay let's put a zoo enclosure or whatever over here so this is the complete edition of the original first zoo tycoon so it's not only 
animals but we can also have dinosaurs and we can have marine life so and they also had like stuff where you could like teach whales killer whale shows and hold show we're not doing any of that uh um but exhibit i think sounds pretty pretty reasonable for the first for the first one i have no idea what we're even going to put in it um is he M mr green bean wait can i use oh no i cannot use was okay interesting um let me see here what do we want to start with let's start with something that isn't too intense and probably i guess something that doesn't need a million gallons of space since i did not make this a very large enclosure gallons a million gallons um oh uh, let's see there's moose and there's bear we do like one grizzly bear Every time I've ever done a Bigfoot, they get, like, mad to the point where you just can't ever please them. Dinosaurs can be kind of a trouble, too. So, let's start. I feel like People Pleaser, where was? I, I want to do a bear. We're just going to do one female grizzly bear. Because I'm afraid of this not being enough space. <laughs> and, um, we'll hire our zoo person. And each... Each enclosure needs to have but exhibit <laughs> so let's figure out what's going on with this bear and what we could do to uh, needs more foliage even though that's not how you say that I'm just gonna mispronounce everything tonight um, too much grass not enough fresh water not enough oh I thought that was not enough decisions for the grizzly bear to make not enough uh, okay prefers with more cliffs or hills what the heck not enough shelters oh no cliffs or hills that's like the worst one to start with is cliffs and hills okay so maybe what we'll do is is we will just um we're just gonna pump this up a little bit over here we're gonna give them like a yeah, I would say that the, the entrance fee is cheap as well. I appreciate them for being so honest, I guess. Nobody can even see the bear yet. Oh man, look at them all rolling in. Okay, it's going to cost $12, and if you don't like it, then don't come. It's a big bear to see. Okay, here we go. And we're going to put a path in real quick so people can actually see the bear. And we're not going to put it right next to the enclosure. We're going to put it right here. Because so I have found, back in the day, they appreciate it more when you don't put the path right up against the enclosure. Here we are. Oh. OK. And this would be here. So boop. And. How do I put down fences? Or not fences, benches. Uh, eh. Eh. Yeah. Look at that. You can you can sit while you're looking at the bear. I think that's looking pretty hot. Okay, guys, I've got money. Should I buy a house or a JPEG of a pixelated monkey? Um I think that the answer is clear. Definitely the JPEG of the pixelated monkey. Um, okay, so just that one little hill is all the bear needed. That was nice. I'm afraid to put a second bear in there because I just don't think that's going to be enough space for a second bear. So, you can have your little shelter. I mean, I would almost do like a cave, but these are dinosaur caves anyway. So, let's just put this right back here. Now you can have a little space to go to if you're feeling overwhelmed. Holy shoot, it's FNAF Frederick Face Bear. <laughs> that's a joke if that's not... Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, if you actually had real money and the debate was between a house and a picture of a, of a monkey, I probably wouldn't suggest the same. Okay, so now we need, we need some fresh water. Man, this was always the best part, was getting in here. Ooh, we should have some penguins. 
and we need to look into our research. There's so many things to do. Okay, so I don't want to overwhelm, and I don't want to block off the entrance. Too much grass, not enough fresh water, so they need a lot more fresh water, I think. Okay. Um, and it looks like that was it. Okay, so now we need Decaduai. <laughs> Decidui, I'm trying to think of what that Pokemon's name was, I swear. And we need Corniferous, which now I'm just being obnoxious about it. Um, excuse me. I'm working, I'm working. Not enough, there's too much grass, not enough of this. Okay, okay, okay. Can't be that sad. Come on, it's been two seconds. Okay, I didn't see any more smiley faces. But it still says there's not enough. Okay. It's not enough, Dad. Laverne, no. <laughs> you can't stand there. <sighs> of course you also stink, which is great. Anyway. My bear is having is suffering and you Oh no, that's definitely not what I meant to do. Pause. Okay, so <laughs> I keep wanting wanting to use WASD, and then I just thought that that would just undo one, so. Uh -huh. Here, we're just gonna, we're just gonna mark up the place. Laverne, please sit down. Do you mind? Mm, NFT, oof. Okay, it's not her breath. It's just her little butt. Sorry, Laverne. I love you. She was like, I don't go there. I don't fold like that. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, I feel like we can press play again because. Too much, oh man. That jerk, make up your mind, bear. Okay, we're getting there. I didn't know this. Oh, sorry. Didn't know this bear was going to be so, so picky. How dare they expect to live in an environment similar to their own in the w wilderness? Okay, we're still seeing smiles. All smiles. All smiles. Here we go. Here we go. How about now? How are you feeling? Not enough corniferous. Okay, more corn. More corn. More corn. Corn, 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 corn. Still not enough carnivorous. Oh, right, because there was too much of this, too. I was like, what? Not enough of this. Oops, I used too much of that. Get rid of more grass. Oh. Uh, would be happier with more rocks. There we go. Except for I did see something about foliage before give the bear rocks <laughs> give the rocks man con coniferous i know i'm i'm saying it i'm saying it terribly on purpose i swear <laughs> just like how i'll often say um raymond noodles instead of ramen noodles it's not that i think that it's pronounced raymond let's see here or cron. <laughs> so you don't want croniferous? I don't believe you. <laughs> I'm surprised. Grizzly bear is not happy. Here I am arguing with you about, no, I'm not arguing. <laughs> it's not the right word. Here we are having a serious fight and the bear is very upset. Oh shoot. Do you see, do you see what happened? How do I, I think it's this. So don't want rainforest crap. Yeah, con, what is it? I don't know, because I keep wanting to say coniferous, and so that's why I keep saying it wrong, because if I'm saying it obviously wrong, then... What about this? No, dang it, okay. They don't, it didn't even say they wanted foliage, but it did before. What if we just do like a big old rock? Oop. How about that? How's that? I don't believe you, JK. Okay. Here we are. Back in your good graces. G 
grizzly bear won. See, I tried, but it was like, oh, no, I don't need trees. Uh, oh, yeah, and I should be close to real time uh, since we're playing PC games. I just, I don't see anything decid dis deciduous. Okay. And coniferous. Okay, I don't know. Coniferous? Coniferous. I want to say coniferous, and then I want to throw up. Um, more animals? Oh, yeah. Oh, that was responsible. That looks like just like a dirt background, which is why it's throwing me off. Okay, we're getting a happier bear. It's it's happening slowly but surely. And don't call me Shirley. I just I can't not think of that whenever I say that. Oh, that woman. And. What about the delicious? That's what we should call it instead of deciduous. Uh, and another tree. Like this bear is like begging for for trees. Is it just like just all about that? Guests don't seem to like your zoo very much. Gee whiz, we really really picked a picked a winner. Oops, <laughs> I wasn't even in the enclosure. Okay, let's just smack these out. Stop panicking. We can do it. They believe in us. It's just a rough start, I swear. Let's put a, so many trees in here that the bear can't even be seen. Okay, now it's just uh, time to, to put whatever. Here are some bushes. Ooh, I like these bushes. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. I feel like I can put a million bushes in. Kumino, da 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 da. What's up, everybody? I'm in the stream. Oh, watch out. Da -da. Uh, what are we playing today? Today, uh, we're doing some uh, Zoo Tycoon. Um, and then tonight, after the. The guests can leave if they don't like it. There, look, the bear is, 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 is getting, getting excited. Now, let's see if we can just put in a couple more bushes just to. Just uh, really, oh, okay, that was it. That was the, that was the line. Okay, here we are. Happy bear. Get off our butts. And we're going to call it Grizzly Butt. Since it's the butt enclosure. And here we are. Top chat says one. Top chat says one. Okay, and on we go. We've got people. We've got stuff. We got people who are mad and leaving. <laughs> um, and I think, okay, let's give everybody a can. Here's a can. Hooray! Look, we're pulling it around. We've got it. We've got it going on. Here's a little drinking stand. I need to put in trash cans or people will be disgusting. I am also here. Hooray! <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, we've got people coming and going, Q. Um, let's see. I feel like a big um, prairie dog cafe. It feels uh, too soon. I feel like we should just put like a hot dog stand in and like a drink stand there. Get off my butt. It's all about butts, I guess. I... Let's see what animals we can now look at. Oh, look, new dinosaurs. Oh, we'll do male because only because it's a little easier to see some what some of the animals are. A black bear. I would really like a dinosaur, to be absolutely honest with you, but also I like this Komodo dragon, and I kind of want a Komodo dragon. I feel like I could slip a Komodo dragon into, like, a, a long boy enclosure, and so we're going to do that right over here. And it's just going to be, like, real long. And can I change my angle for a second? Thank you. And we're not going to let people walk around the back. We're just going to close this off. 
I don't know if I can do that though. I don't think I can use the border of the zoo like that. I can. Komodo dragoon. I don't know what's wrong with me. Don't ask. Don't ask. Don't tell. <clears throat> Ew. That's disgusting. All right. Put Tyrannosaurus Rex in the zoo. I want to see it roam around. Okay. Uh, except for, of course, uh, it won't be able to roam around. But we will put one in. I think we'll unlock one here in a little bit. I started early tonight, so that way we could go a little longer. We'll probably play Smash around 10. Uh, animal shelters. Staff education, animal care, animal enrichment, dinosaur, T-Rex care, training aquatic. Where'd that just go? Okay, science training, aquatic animal care, M specialist, research education to speed up marine specialist movement decrease. Okay. Uh, tricks. Okay. Because there are certain things, except for I guess I'm not seeing them. I didn't want to research... Oh, well, I didn't want to research uh, the, like, show stuff, but anyway. We're going to assign a zoo person here because I just would prefer having a zoo person per. And we'll take two of these little maintenance peeps. Um, let's get a Komodo dragon. I think next we'll do a Loch Ness monster enclosure. We'll do a boy Komodo dragon since we did a girl grizzly bear. And you, wait, zookeeper too. You stay here. Why no move? Also, smash. I got three characters to show you. Oh, shoot. Okay, cool. I'm excited. Yeah, we've been doing the videos, which is different, but uh, I've been really liking them. I need to remember to ask somebody uh, to help me with testing discord audio. I, I meant to do it. I've meant to do it a couple of times now and keep forgetting. So I think I saw fresh water. Yes. So let's go ahead and put some fresh water in, in the back. Just like this. Cause I feel like this is plenty of space for one Komodo dragon. Um, still not enough fresh water. Okay. I just wanted to kind of put it like a little lake deal. Oh, great. Now you're in the way. Okay, plenty of... Okay, so we need more rainforest floor. Mm -hmm. Mario, Captain Falcon, and Ganondorf. Also, quick tip. Okay. Dun -dun -dun. All right, how are we doing? Now, technically, I could just look over here. It's just my view is so obstructed that, but it doesn't, it's not so bad. Not enough rainforest floor. Okay. Uh, I kind of don't think you should be stream only youtuber yeah you know honestly i've wanted to do videos and i used to do a lot of editing for videos um and yeah i like that input because i think that you're right i would like to be able to do a little more and um i feel like there are a lot of good formats for videos and ideas that i could have um yeah, and, and some things were kind of slow before because I had so many... I mean, it feels like an excuse. I, I had so many um, various other like factors going on that it was just kind of hard to put more energy in. So now that I um, am able to live a normal life, I can, um, I can start focusing more on on the channel and stuff I'd like to do with it especially since if I'm streaming at a regular pace then I don't need to worry about when I put videos out as long as I'm you know doing it so uh thank you uh yeah I'll, I'll have to think about what all I can do maybe I'll pick up my dragon team again in Pokemon or I could start taking some suggestions as well so not enough sand not enough gray stone. 
Why? Where is my loser zookeeper whose only job is to be, is it you? Because you will get fired. In these earlier ones, you don't have to worry as much. But later on, I think in two and stuff like that, you do have to watch your employees because if they're unhappy, then they'll, they'll do a bad job and you'll have to fire them and stuff. Okay. Hungry and can't find food. Needs more foliage. Needs would be happier with rocks. There's too much grass. No, there's too much dirt. But not enough what? <laughs> I was going to say, they're not telling me what to replace it with. Okay. Hungry and can't find food. Well, there's food right there. Alright, I'm feeling a little better. In general. I love these trees. Um, we'll put like two down. It doesn't say that it needs a, a like a shelter, so I guess we'll just leave it. Boop. Little tiny flower. Anybody have any requests? Dinosaur or aquatic animal next? How about that? It does not matter if people don't suggest that. I'll just figure it out on my own. It's not like I'm trying to be like make all my decisions for me. Okay. Or am I? Dun, dun, dun. I'll put like a little rock. Boop. Komodo dragons are neat. No, oh, I was going to actually talk to, tell Diana a story that I read um, online today, but um, other parties <laughs> who are over wouldn't appreciate the story, so I'll wait until tomorrow. <sighs> uh, it's about bugs, that's all I'll say. About some article I read, and the only reason why is because you'd be the only person who'd even remotely be like, oh, okay. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so we've got some, we don't have trash cans, this is, this is going to be a problem. Trash can. Trash can. I have no excuse. I don't know if I need to put this trash can like right on the... I feel like it's a waste of space to put it right there. There. Trash cans. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to make that a different buzz. Okay. So now we're going to branch out over here. Whoop. Can I zoom out? I can! We're gonna make a big ol' big ol' enclosure. Uh, I guess we'll just, I guess it can be like this. Sure. I can tell you about it tonight, actually. Um, yeah, so I still need to do the testing of, okay, let's see what animals we have. I kind of want to do a Loch Ness Monster, or we could do these Turtle Boys, or we could do Penguins, which kind of sounds fun. I don't know. So Penguin, well, there are a couple of ways to do Penguins, actually, so yeah. Huh. Okay, we're doing it. We're going to do Penguins. Doing Penguins because I didn't see anything. You play Jurassic World Evolution? I don't think so. I want... Oh, that dinosaur, okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not usually very concerned about, um, you know, our turnout for streams. Usually I'm just playing games that I want to play anyway, <laughs> so it ends up being fine. We're going to do it this way for the penguins because you can take a tank which I guess I don't know if I need okay now I need to zoom in because I can't see my old eyes and I want to press the press this all the way up against because we can it's one wall and then we can put the filter on like the side or something penguin Gleams, <laughs> and then this actually um, needs to be oh, crap. 
this needs to go from here. Yeah, I actually lined that up. <laughs> I was just eyeballing it. Penguin, penguin, wa water. <laughs> Okay, so what we do is, is we take this and we adjust the base so that it's level. Sorry, I just smacked the crap out of the mic. Watch me do a flip. <laughs> it is like a flip or like a cartwheel. And I, I don't think we need the marine specialist. I feel like we just need another zookeeper. But if I hire a zookeeper, then it's going to be a whole deal. And even though I don't want to waste the money necessarily, we're going to, we already know we're going to need a ton of snow and little to no grass. So let's just go ahead and fix that up now. Yeah, I've played Planet Zoo, which is really fun. It's like the new Zoo Tycoon, but you know with new games comes new challenges so <laughs> I like um, I like the simplicity of Zoo Tycoon 1 sometimes because like in in Planet Zoo it's really fun we're gonna do two one two three uh oh they did not like that uh oh okay get, get rid of them we're gonna just do we're just gonna do three because they are gonna end up we're going to end up having more penguins than we probably will know what to do with. Okay, too much grass. Not enough salt water. Would be happier with more rocks. Not enough shelter. Okay, so this should work. Um, but I guess I don't know now. Okay. That's how we find out. And we'll put... Uh, We'll just put some salt water over on this end just to just to do it since they were complaining about not having salt water. Like a bunch of babies. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, none of salt water. Yeah, this is one of the few animals that I know of that you can and a lot of times I like just end up doing this instead, but this works, so I like doing that too. Okay, happier with more rocks and not enough shelters. Are they sure that's all they want? Penguins live near the ocean. Let's give them a, let's give them a nice big old hut. And we'll just put like a little extra one because I swear those penguins are going to, we're going to have more penguins than we know what to do with. More rocks, more shelters than necessary. They made a smiley face. I'm not changing it. I don't think that we're, see, we already have a baby penguin. What the heck? That is way too soon. Guys, guys and gals. Okay, we can't put rocks in there. Well, we can, but we need to put different rocks in there. We'll put like a big old, oh, okay, they don't like that. We just won't worry about that. We'll see about maybe if we can put like a, okay, more shelters than necessary. I beg to differ. Would we'll be happier with more rocks. Okay. Here's some rocks. Look how many rocks there are. Man, this penguin, you sure can't have a good time. We'll see though. Okay. Still more rocks? I think I think this is an excessive amount of rocks. We'll just put more rocks out here in the water. <laughs> And they didn't like when I put, oh, more animals, more, more animals, I can't talk. Diane, do you like the look of um, farm fields? Uh, because some people are not as huge of a fan. <laughs> but um, I'm like a sucker for like just looking out at a bunch of farm fields, like, like especially like at sunset and stuff. This is mostly just a, a joke topic for fun, but oh, you know what else I can do is, um, okay, here's what we'll do. Boop, 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 boop. 
Do, 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 do. There we go. I needed sound effects, but we gave them a lot more space down there. Are you guys sure that you don't want? Are you all sure you don't want plants? They're totally super happy, so I'm not taking the shelter away. I'm not doing it. Here are our penguins. It's a good time. And also, before I forget, oh no, do I even have it yet? Um, I don't know if I have a water filter yet, which would be not great. And I don't remember. Yeah, look at that. They didn't even ask for it, and we gave it to them anyway. Uh, uh oh. I don't know if I have a water filter yet. Oops, oh well, we won't worry about it. If that water gets yucky, we'll we'll see if a marine specialist can help and if a marine specialist we'll get a marine specialist and then uh we're gonna Oh. Oh. So they just consider that to be Huh. How do I? Huh. Okay. We'll just keep them around. We're going to make another little exhibit real quick. That's just um, water. We'll put like fish in it. Put some kind of fancy fish in there. And I keep forgetting where I need to go. Here we are. Okay. We're just going to put it right here. We're not going to make it too huge, especially since I don't have a water filter yet and I'm just doing this anyway, but we're not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it. <laughs> uh, fish. Okay. Make it as, as deep as it goes and we'll make it real tall. Then we're gonna put what well, looks like a good animal. We got sea turtles. I feel like it's not big enough for sharks. I don't want anything too big. Bluefin tuna, boring. <laughs> I like these lion mane jellies. Let's do that. Let's do a, a boy and a gill. And I need that. Where'd that marine specialist go? Uh, how do I find them? Uh, click to hide all guests. There they are. And then also, I need more maintenance people because this trash can is is faff, full af. <laughs> um, four feels right. I really need a filter for this place, but let's go ahead and worry about the jellies before we do. More foliage and more rocks. It's a little easier. More foliage. And we'll go ahead and put like a big old, like big old rock down there. And just like a couple of little ones. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Let's flip this perspective. And then I'm just going to put some water plants in while we're looking at it this way. I feel like you get more information about them. I kind of forget where. Yeah. That's too much. Okay. Sometimes they'll tell you like what their favorite plants are and stuff. Put a sea sponge in. Put some of these in here. A little bit of that. Whatever this is. Uh, forget it. Brittle sea star. There. Look at that. We've got got it enclosures for days. Everybody's happy. Uh, let's put in another bathroom just to just to have it, and we'll put it over here. Uh, 
And I guess I could put in a couple more benches while we're at it and some more trash cans. Put this on the side because I don't want it to take up space. Mm. Oops. Whatever. Yeah, I probably don't need to put the park bench on the sidewalk when I can't find any food. Well, what the heck? I don't see any food either. Where is my zoo friend? Oh, oh I was like, what the heck is somebody doing in here? Did we hire somebody? We probably didn't. I thought we did, but we probably did not. Okay. So we got some cool animals, some basic animals. We got a nice little little setup going. And so now, oh, hey, look there. Boop. Boop. There we go. That makes me feel better. So now let's go ahead and make an enclosure for like a dinosaur. I'm thinking either the giant turtle. I'm I keep going back to the Loch Ness monster, and I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Once we get to the Tyrannosaurus Rex, we can try it out. The Allosaurus might be a little easier, but they they can be kind of a pain. There's another. I think there's a Plesiosaur that you can have as well, but it's the same as the Loch Ness. So we'll just do two for Loch Ness. It is a, technically a dinosaur. So let's. I believe the, I think this one is, oh, okay, oh, so this one's 300, so I'm going to guess that it's the best, so we'll go ahead and lock this up, didn't really want to do this on a hill though. It's a lot of money to do on the hill. What if I went from like here and then we could go all the way over? <laughs> uh, This costs money. That's why we. That's why I always start this game out with five hundred thousand. It's, um, Loch Ness. It's um, a lot of money, and it makes the game. It puts it on easy mode. But like, why? I don't know. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> At least in this circumstance, I feel fine doing that because. Um, because I just want to make enclosures for a bunch of animals and stuff. And it looks like I am going to have to take out some of this stupid thing. Okay. Zoom in, please. Right here. And we'll let it get, we'll let them get close right at this spot right here. And then we just need to lower, it looks like, just a small piece. Where's my excavation? Right here, we just need to... Oh, that's so much money. Okay. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. Oh, penguins live near the ocean. Okay, that makes sense. They do. I believe you are correct. Um, let's see here. So we want Loch Ness. We want to put a boy. And we're going to put a gill. Okay. And we'll assign a scientist. 
Ah, oh, crap. So that means... Uh, I'm not sure if we'll know what they need until... All right, let's go look at, is there a description of them? Loch Ness monster, oh, what a picture. One of the most famous undiscovered animals in the world. In the world. Do they swim in salt water or is it fresh water? There's my question number one. Freshwater lake, sorry. So we'll make the back half of this fresh water because I'm sure we'll need a ton. I'm sure. I keep doing the WASD to move, which is incorrect. Okay. Now, there is a chance that we could have done that tank thing again, but I just, I'm not doing that. We'll leave right here so that way the scientist doesn't get screwed over. And we'll just kind of sandbar. All right, I think that's enough for right now. <laughs> and, uh... Since I'm not 100% positive what else they're going to want, I'm just going to base it off memory. I, I know they like these little cattails. Um, I feel like cattails really are like... Like, I'm just putting them all in like random spots, but... Instead of like trying to make it look like it would be what you would normally see. Whatever. Delete this. How's their health and how much? I forget how long it takes. It takes a little while. Is there anything else we can get off of this? Fresh water. Okay, so we need to put rocks in there. Uh, I don't know if it says anything about what else. So, okay, we put the cattails in. We'll wait to put any more foliage in. I know these rocks are safe. Let's put something. Oh, oh, there we go. Hey, oh, oh, that's not true. No, no way. I disagree. What a lie. There we go. I was about to say this. There's not a possible chance that that could be the case. Okay. We'll rock. Uh -huh. Why did two hatch before one? Too much grass. Not enough brownstone. Not enough sand. Oops. Woe is me. Sand. And let's just like kind of border the perimeter of sand. Of course, they need more fresh water too, right? So what if we were just like, oh, we're going to be artsy. Not really artsy, but just put like a little thing in here. Too much grass, not enough brownstone, not enough fresh water. Okay. I just want to make sure, sure, whatever, uh, that none of the land gets uh, cut off. We don't want. Well, Vern's just going to town back there. We don't want. Uh, them to be able to use the restroom somewhere where they can't get cleaned up. Lion Mane Jelly 2 gave birth and then I did, if I remember correctly they do also pass away from old age which is sad so still not enough fresh water. I just mostly need fresh water. Let's 
still too much grass as well. Stupid fly. Too much grass. Yeah, okay. Starting to get worried. I was like, geez. <laughs> like, all. Still too much grass, so we'll just keep replacing the grass. Okay. Too much grass, not enough sand, but it's not red anymore, so that's cool. Okay. Too much grass, not enough brownstone. Okay. How? Scientist one is stupid. And also, how is there too much grass? I don't see any more grass. Uh, there's gotta be like one, oh, okay, I was gonna say, there's gotta be like one little tiny spot. Um, even though they said it's well suited, I'm just gonna put in a few more of these. Um, maybe like, I don't really see beach grass. Okay. I mean, it says well suited, but it's not going to hurt to put a few more things in. Okay, as long as they're not making frowny faces and as long as it's not telling me I have too much, then we're good. Okay. Let's go ahead and put like one of these. I was gonna put different kinds of rocks in here, but more animals, small desert rock. Nope, didn't like that. Oh, there's the undo button. I knew there was one, but I just didn't know where. I think we're good. We got Happy Loch Ness Monsters. And I mean, they look like this now, but here in a little while, we'll come back and check on them. Uh, this is like their baby form. They, they'll get they'll get larger than that. So what other animals just got unlocked? I saw ostriches. I see, oh, elephants. Some of these animals you can mix and match, but you have to find like just the right perfect ones to get that balance that ends up working out. Um, there's tigers, polar bear, wait, magnet the polar bear and just the polar bear. I don't know why that's a thing. There are yetis, but those are also kind of particular. Anything with this little star can do shows, but we're not. Got a lot of water, aquatic wildlife. We do not have T Rexes yet, but I'm thinking some kind of. I kind of want to do an ostrich, but I don't know if that's, you know, all that exciting. I kind of want to do ostrich. I don't see any, um, any complaints against it. So. Ah. Ah. Oh no! Okay, Blech. sorry. My microphone decided to. It's just almost too heavy now with the. With the. I can't think of what the name is. You can do giraffes. Yeah, you still got too many. You still think there are too many enclosures for the penguin now? Yeah. 
too many shelters. Okay, I want to stop messing with this. I want to stop using WASD. I mean, Jelly, can't find any food. I literally saw the employee standing there. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. They're in there. I was about to get mad. I see question mark. Question mark for what? Am I far over enough? I'm like... Just barely. <laughs> okay. Um... So this whole zoo, here's what we're looking at so far, and I kind of think that it's we need to put like a, some more food in. We've got some space out this way. Oh wow, we've got a lot of space out this way. It looks like junk, but maybe an animal that likes the terrain like that, would, that would work for. What's that? How's it going? And uh, put a couple more benches in. Hopefully, Loch Ness Monster is still okay. I'm hearing a lot of shouting. Yeah, they act like they're okay. Some park benches. Then over here, what we'll do is, is we'll uh, make like a little loop. Yeah, like this. And then uh, we'll put in some restaurants, so. What's a big restaurant we could do? We could do one of these as well. Could the shark tunnel potentially fit right in between? Look how close that is. I didn't even, I didn't even try. And it works. <laughs> Dang, okay. Anyway, so what else would be a good restaurant? There's a dinosaur gift shop, aquatic gift shop, mm, a petting zoo, animal theater. Rainforest restaurant sounds fun. Let's start with the rainforest restaurant. And it can be right next to this little shark viewing place. Super Mario Under Milk. You. I don't know why I would say you, but I just thought. How's it going? Going. I can't talk. We're gonna put Stego Putt Putt over here. And also, so guests were complaining about the park being too cheap before, but they don't care now. So let's hike this price up. I don't wanna go back up to 22. That's where we started at. Of course, I don't see anybody coming in. That makes me feel really good. I don't even see anybody here do you guys see any oh all right duh <laughs> I was like why is this park so empty I was starting to panic like oh so is it not I feel like 22 is fair now look at all these people dang we got our bear is our bear still happy yep still happy bear you, you? I'm good. Did you get a haircut? I did actually. I sure did. It's probably a little shorter than what I normally would want to cut it at, but the short. If I get a, a shorter cut, then I can wait longer before I have to get it cut again. So, last time it was this short was last January. Uh, also. That's true. Uh, also, we're doing Smash. It should be around 10 p.m. It might be a little after, but we're going to do the underground. So, feel free. You can either join us in Discord, or if you want, um, we're going to be... Uh, you can just watch out for me, and 
if we're friends on the switch then you can just you can just jump in you don't have to be part of discord to do it it's just discord's just the place where we we can talk um, i have to pet b b needs some attention i think oops okay here we are i don't know why i have it set in my head but i really want ostriches and so this little hub over here we're going to put some ostriches right here. It doesn't have to be anything huge. Just like, yeah, like that. I like that. Ah, uh, stretches. Oh, there it was. Boop. We're just going to do one boy. And one gill. I keep saying gill. I keep saying doing that, and um, I guess I could explain. But uh, uh, just some little kid back in the day, they didn't know if somebody was a boy or a girl, and they said boy or a gill instead of a boy or a girl. Which I don't want that to sound weird, but you know how sometimes little kids just just look like generic, <laughs> so. <laughs> Savannah grass, um, but yeah, it didn't have anything to do with whether or not it mattered. It was just that was just what this very small child asked. Okay, probably gonna have to put in some more maintenance, boys. Too much grass, not enough savanna grass. So let's go ahead and get that started first. Okay. Not enough savannah grass still, so let's just keep this up. Okay. Do they need fresh water or does it matter? I guess they don't need fresh water at all. There. There's no longer grass. There can't be too much grass. It's absolutely impossible. Oh, but there is too much savanna grass. Happier with more rocks, not enough dirt. Fine. Dirt. 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 Too much savanna grass. Happier with more rocks, not enough dirt. Not enough fresh water. Okay, there is fresh water. I'll just put like a little thing of fresh water right here. Okay, so the terrain is good. We're we're set. Um, let's see here. I like how this. I forgot to put like any kind of background over this, so it's just whatever my desktop background is. Why don't we? Can we see what comes up next? Okay, it's like a space background, fancy. Okay, foliage and rocks. We'll do one big ol' one of these. We'll do one big ol' one of those. Do a couple of these. Do. They're still giving me happy face, so I'm. I'm not gonna stop just yet. It's like you can stop at the bare oh, bare minimum, but I think a little extra goes a long way. Oop. Oop. And whatever this big weird tree stump thing is. No, I hate it. I hate the way it looks. Not enough shelters. Uh, we'll give them a bigger shelter. Just because. So I, I want to say they might. Any of them could have extra BBs and for the ostriches I want to let the sidewalk come all the way up on that side and like this my main jelly still can't find food what the heck is that person doing we have one person here where's my 
employee. And there's a way to, to find them more specifically, but I forget. Okay, animal shelter, staff education, animal care, animal enrichment, dinosaur care. T-Rex care, scientist training, aquatic animal, marine specialist training. Select this program, research education, program, speed up marine special movement, decrease, okay. Orca tricks, see, can it. Great white shark tricks, can, we're not doing tricks. We're not doing any of those. Because I never really could get it to work right, and I'm sure it's just user error, but I'm not messing with it today. <laughs> Didn't you already have... Okay, okay, let me get the game, though. Oh, nice. Oh, good. Maybe they just had to... Maybe they just had to go, you know, grab the physical copy or something. Yeah, because we will be playing Smash a little later as just the video. I haven't been editing those videos. I had a, a little straw pull up and I think I'm just gonna leave it like that except for I forgot to cut out a little piece last time but it's not a big deal. Excuse me. Just when it was in between lobbies and I wasn't able to to watch um, I was just gonna cut those out because uh, I figured it wasn't as exciting. Okay, is, is $22 not enough? Look at this person. What are you thinking? Oh, it looks like they were debating favorite animal Pacific octopus. Meh. Okay, nice. So many people. Now are there picnic tables? Probably. Come to think of it. There they are. Since we have a few of those out here, we're just gonna... It was nice because in Zoo Tycoon, people can walk off. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Some nice stations. Put this weird little... Oh, that's not what I want. Put some trash cans. Boop, boop, boop. I was hoping I can just put like a little decoration right next to it. Like a... Um, a lion statue. Yeah. Rawr. We don't have any lines here, but enjoy the statue. Okay, cool. So there's like some, and what if we, like more of these little stands we just put over here because it helps. We could put like a little teeter-totter boy right here because maybe people want to play on the teeter-totter thing. Let's get an ice cream stand. White people talk all night. Um, I listened to that like 17 times this right before the stream. This person making lemonade. I mean, I'm sure I could put these in other places that it could be a little more effective at, but I just, I wanted plenty. Oh, and a burg shop. I wanted plenty of excuses for them to use these picnic tables right here. And then they're right in between the Loch Ness Monster and the Grizzly Bear. That's kind of a cool little spot. And why don't we... We're going to put a little swing right here just for fun. Nice. Here you go. Yeah, don't mind YouTube. Popcorn. Uh... When it sees things that it doesn't understand, it just assumes it's spam, even if it's not. Did I assign somebody to here? Yes, because they have food. Did the lion mane jellies, did they get enough food? Is the marine biologist... 
Yeah, okay. Where's the marine biologist? You. You are getting fired. Douche. Sorry, I don't mean to call him a douche, but like, come on. You have one singular job. One. And look at him. Walking away. Making my way downtown. Get in there and feed those jellies. There. Now I have a little path so you can go through and see it from a different angle. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, good to see you both. I know this wasn't exactly our original plan, but I'll be... I'll be honest with everyone. This month's probably going to be our weirdest month for streams. Ooh, new animals. Um, partially because... Where's my... Sorry, I have like a... The leftovers of a stress rash from the other week that I'm still trying to get away. It gets to go away. Anyway, um, since the holidays are coming up, it's going to make things a little more difficult. Um, especially for my Fridays because both... New Year's Eve and Christmas Eve both fall on a Friday this year, as well as uh, family coming up the week before that. So I don't know. The last three Fridays, specifically New Year's Eve, we won't be doing a stream, but Christmas Eve is like a toss up. We might do a stream. It could be fun just to play a bunch of the Christmas stuff again. And I don't mean to only pr play Christmas games, uh, I'm mostly playing what's at my fingertips what I already own but it's not a very good excuse because I'm sure there are other holiday themed games so maybe I should look into that too but anyway this month's just gonna be kinda wild so keep an eye on discord and I'll keep you all posted yeah I do apologize about Tuesday but there was just something important that came up and just sometimes that's just gonna be the way it works out so it has nothing to do with of course my will to stream or anything like that because I do enjoy to be able to talk to everybody but yeah this this is all gonna be strange maybe sometimes like um, we might still be able to do underground but I don't know we'll see because we probably won't do it on Christmas Eve we'll probably just do a regular stream if we do anything and um, New Year's Eve is, is just, uh, it's going to be too difficult, and so I would rather just focus on, uh, on the time that I do have, so that way I'm not, I'm not crushing, crunching, um, for time or whatever, but I'm sure everybody will be busy. We'll see what we can figure out and kind of play it by ear, but I just kind of want to I just wanted to throw it out there uh, so people um, could be aware. Let's go ahead and put another bathroom right here. And a family restroom, just in case people have to use the can. A swim shack. This would be kind of fun because it's easy, but we'll worry about that later. Oh, sorry. Okay, nice. Fancy ice cream. A kid's arcade. I'm going to put the kid's arcade right over here. Whoa, it almost fits. Uh. There. Cross from Putt Putt. Now I don't know if Zoo Tycoon. Let's look at some of our tools while we have two sec. You aggressive. Anyway, while we have two seconds to uh, to just pay attention to other things, because I think we have plenty of animals. And I do want another picnic table. Where was that? Oh, ew, gross. Sorry about that. Yeah, just put this here. 
And I wish we had an information kiosk. I'm not sure if we do or not. So it's 22 to get in. I think it would be reasonable to charge 25 if I'm being absolutely honest. Zoo marketing, don't particularly want to do that. $200 a month. <sighs> we'll do it. We'll call it. Nick Zoo, of course. It's like, so, we, oh, here we go. Okay, so construction costs, here's our things. Zoo rating, hey, oh, we got an 82. Quality animal care. So, crushed ice stand is currently not making us money. We're not going to get rid of it just yet, but he's on thin ice. If it's breaking even, that's fine. Polly's popcorn. I really like the placement of that, and it's going to be too bad if they don't. Everything else is doing pretty good, so we'll see. These two look like they're the duds of our group, but that was nice that we could actually check on that. Excuse no exist, Nick. Excuse no exist. Is there... Okay. This space right here feels wasted if we don't do something with it. So, ba -ba -bum. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. I want to. I kind of. I don't know. I kind of hate this, but <laughs> think. Okay, cool. One second. I see an image. One moment. Ew. Okay. Had to react <laughs> to a picture. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be called Fish 2. Because watch out, we've got only creative names going on in this place. Uh, and we're going to adjust the wall. Oh my gosh, and put the base down so it's not like so wild. Yeah, let's do, let's not. Put this wall back. It probably cost so much more money than it needed to. Me just fiddling around. This looks like plenty of space, and I just want to put like uh, some kind of aquatic animal that is kind of basic, like the bluefin. I mean, we could put a giant Pacific octopus. Ooh. I feel like this is enough space for the octopus. But what we'll do is just to make sure. Let's put this filter over here. And then I get like the fine brothers like uh fine me. Ew weird. They uh, take the rights from my my stream because of me singing white people talk at night. I don't know. Uh Okay, so we can't put one right here. And I'm going to need to adjust the levels. Oops. That wasn't what I thought. Okay. So let's go ahead and put this here. And The f fish two part two, <laughs> okay, and then um, we're going to adjust the wall and the base. I don't honestly. I can't tell if the base. Okay. That makes it 
level and then that makes it level and I am scared of doing this I don't know if it's gonna work yes oh cool it did <laughs> hooray so now that you've got plenty of space and we need I just you know we have a marine biologist already but I just prefer for it to be like one assigned per tank let's orient back to where we were let's go over here let's click the octopus that's a cool animal foliage rocks and shelters yeah that's usually all it it's usually all an aquatic animal needs <laughs> you don't have to worry about all the extra uh, I like this little ship down here uh, let's put the ship over yeah. Oh, that octopus. <laughs> oh, get out of town. The one. Okay. No. Hey, now I can't get that out of my head. Oh, fly. You know, it's hard because in the winter I can't let flies outside. Because <laughs> you're like. <laughs> dooming them to oblivion <laughs> it's just the same as mission them no did that make them sad or happy okay I thought I heard like a frowny sound and I was like uh oh and some of these tanks might be too big but I'd rather it be too big than too small and hopefully they'll have little BBs cup coral And let me turn so we can mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oops whatever's fine and I want where was I think this goes on the top. Oh, didn't like that. Okay. Happier with more rocks. Alright. Watch out world. I want to use one of these because it's like a broken city looking deal. More rocks. Well, not city, but it just looks like Like there is a structure. Okay, too much. Okay, here we go. So we filled in the space over here. Awesome. I feel like we're getting even more people. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I feel like we're <laughs> we're getting even more people coming in. So we need to charge thirty dollars. Thirty dollars, because this is all. These are a lot of animals. For let's go check on our Loch Ness. Are they huge yet? Are they gigantic? It's empty. Where are they? They're dead. Actually, really though, where are they? I hear them. Are they in a shelter? I don't have a shelter. Whoa! Look at how close we can get. Look at all these pixels. <laughs> Okay, seriously though, oh okay, so they're not bigger yet, but that was real, oh, they were just like obscured, oh nice, bruh, this is a troll, oh no, uh, yeah, I'm excited for Smash, I actually have been picking up on a couple of characters I'd like to try a little more, um, specifically, uh, I think Sonic was interesting to play as, so I might do a little more. With that I love playing a lot of characters that I'm not as good with so I feel like we've got quite a number of fish we got some regular animals I think it's time for a real dinosaur like 
Not the Loch Ness Monster wasn't, but... And I was kind of waiting for the T-Rex, to be honest, but... I don't know... These need a lot of space, though. <laughs> Emperor Penguin. Oh, I forgot. I needed to push that more. Um, I'm not sure if I um, am going to or not, but... Well, and because normally, I mean, I've played Sonic before and not particularly cared for him, or at least my play style. Oh, look, they're big now. Um, but yeah, I played Sonic in the last Underground and actually really enjoyed myself. So I'm just like, is Sonic kind of one of those characters where anybody can be really good with him if you try? So I don't know. Um, I really want an Allosaurus, but it, it's just... Look, they even tell us... Oh, okay. Dang, I wish they did that for all of them. Allosaurus. It tells us how to pronounce it. he ro he ro he ro <laughs> Oh, man, that's painful. I'm in pain. I'm in a lot of pain. And I only have 120,000. We started with 500,000. So maybe we won't do that just yet we might do one single t-rex because it's just a lot of money and you have to hire so much uh a hippo or a lion or an elephant i feel like we need another classic animal like a giraffe or your butt shoot i think i'm behind i don't think i pressed it enough um there. That should that should do it. That should get it. Oh, like a giant squid. It doesn't look that giant. Eh, whatever. Okay. Lots of little lots of water animals. Uh there better be somebody going to fix that. Thank you. And I'm going to hire a couple more of these. Because we are definitely three more of these because it's not going to hurt. I wouldn't hate a tour guide, but like their monthly salary is five hundred. No, uh, well, all right, one tour guide there. And don't talk to me again about it. Yeah, I think I want. I want. Mm, oh, moose. Moose would be fun. Mm -hmm. Lions are so classic. It's a leopard, a cheetah. If we had jaguars, I'd think about that. And what is this? An Asian elephant. Interesting. It's not politically correct. <laughs> there is a jaguar. Solitary hunters that prefer to live on their own. Okay. Female. Let's just release them. <laughs> We're going to put the... Now, do they like having hills and stuff? I want to tr try it because there are certain animals that like having big hills and stuff to wander on uh, yeah hello iron barfin can't do that all <laughs> those ostriches so we're gonna we're gonna it's right here see this is a really large enclosure for just one animal so How do you spell that? Mountain. Mount. 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 Mountain. <laughs> it's a mountain. Okay. And okay, let's see if she is okay with this. 
More foliage. Too much. It's too steep. All right, I do want a Jaguar, but for this one specifically, I want to find, yeah, let's do it like a mountain lion. Because I want somebody who, who wants that. Not enough gray. Not enough shelters. Not enough fresh water. Happier with more rocks. Foliage, gray stone, brown stone, grass. Prefers exhibit with more cliffs or hills. The heck. Waste my money. Waste my money. Really enjoy the Himalayan pine tree. We already have a bear though. Small herds. Need steep cliffs for climbing. A llama. Bighorn sheep. I want. Okay, let's see what the llamas do. What do you think? Not enough grass. No. Same type. More foliage. Too steep. Too steep. It's too steep for some, not steep enough for others. What the heck? Small or small herds. Too much dirt. Not enough shelters. Not enough fresh water. Happier with more rocks. Foliage. Same type. Not enough snow. Dirt. Grass. There we go. We've done it. We'll do one. And then two. Interesting. More closer hills. I hate them. I hate all these animals. I hate them all. Okay. There goes all our money. <laughs> um. Oh, Carson. Also, even though I'm not sure. If that's small, anyway, uh, Carson, welcome. If I, sometimes I get confused because I thought Sma said they were Carson, but then I thought I saw Carson and Sma talking at the same time at one point, and so I'm not sure. I don't want to assume you're both the same people, but this exhibit blows. We're not doing anything with it right now. I hate it. <laughs> we're going somewhere else. I hope that exhibit goes and dies. <laughs> Let's go over here. And I want flamingos, dang it. And we're gonna put this stupid fence right up here. Oh, dang it, there's a bench. And I'm just going to take space that isn't on a hill. We'll make it this long. Flame ingos. I hope ingos isn't a bad word. <laughs> make something up and get yourself in trouble. Okay, I want one boy and a couple geels. I hope that's enough because they should be able to just make a bunch. Savannah grass, sand, dirt, fresh water. Uh, okay, I just wanted to make sure they weren't complaining about not having enough. Okay. Okay, so. Flamingos. And we're gonna, we need Savannah Grace. Hmm. Just in case. I don't know if I missed one. So I'll pop in too. Um. Loch Ness Monster 2 is given birth. Oh. I'm touched. Savannah Grace. Too much Savannah Grass. Oh, shoot. None of sand. Not enough fresh water. Too much grass. Not enough dirt. Okay. This is not really the most beautiful of enclosure decoration, but why is that always the case? Those lime mane jellies are gonna go. 
um, dirt terrain. Yeah, I think I also am going to close the undergrounds. Uh, I think I talked about it a little bit but uh, before, but uh, I'm just going to make them friends only. Um, mostly because the only people who are playing are friends with me on the Switch, so I think I'm pretty sure, so... Yeah, we're gonna go that route because I don't want random people in there anymore. It's fine and it's better when um, it's online because then we can make sure that we always have, excuse me, people there. But when it's the when it's just the video version, it doesn't make sense because those videos are just for us and the people who like to play Smash and are around, so it's not, it's not supposed to be, um, for the general public. It would be if we were streaming it. Not enough dirt, so let's go ahead and make sure that we cover our, our butts here. Turn this down. Not enough dirt, not enough fresh water. Okay, so the fresh water... I'll fill this in. Sometimes we have to like give it a two seconds. Not enough fresh water. That's as much fresh water as we can do. Not enough fresh water. Too much savanna grass. So why don't we just put a little patch right here? too much dirt so let's get rid of some of the dirt not enough fresh water oh there we go rocks and foliage oh Loch Ness Monster 3 oh so cute okay I really like our flamingos our flamingos our flame ingos. Which actually makes me think of two flames. Uh, more rocks. Man, we are just building fools. Let's put this big old tree thing in here. Bam. There we go. That's all they needed. But I, I kind of want just like two more rocks. Is that okay? Would you guys get mad if I put like a... Oh, yes, they would. They absolutely certainly will. All right, I'm just going to go. I'm just going well suited. Let's make a path that goes around the flamingos. Flamingos. And just to make sure we don't overwhelm them, we will only do part of it. And then let's... Get some more trash cans around because I'm scared of what kind of trash we're going to be looking at at some point. And uh, some more park benches. Oops, that's not where I meant to put that, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, this game used to be. I, I used to be all about this game back in the day. And for a long time, I couldn't get it to work on Windows. I mean, there well, maybe not for a long time, but there was a period of time where I was really trying to get it to go, and it just wouldn't. Uh, let's put just a random kind candy stand over here, pink. And there's a submarine shop. Oh, Isaac. I love you, Isaac. Uh -huh. He looks so strong. Look at all these muscles. <laughs> okay. And if we go back to the entrance, I hate how this is like this, but maybe you can like buy more or something. Oh, look at all the people who parked here. Yeah, 35. <laughs> Nobody said anything about it costing too much money, so. Uh, all right, we're at an 84. Lion Mane Jelly 4. Oh my gosh. 
We're gonna have to check on those because... Okay, so Crushed Ice Stand is gonna go because it's been operating in the red. Look, even Polly's Popcorn Stand came up in the green. We're only making two dollars. I don't care. So let's go ahead and... I mean, maybe we just need like a frozen yogurt. Very sick, jeez. We can just put it like over here. Hey everybody, come get your frozen yogurt. Ostrich 2 gave birth. And we'll hire more maintenance people. Uh, I mean jelly, how's it going? Other animals are sick. Which one is the sick one? I only see two. Oh, okay. Our marine biologist cured him up. I think. Yep, cool. I have four lion mane jellies in there. The octopi. Komodo dragon. Places to eat. Let's put some more benches out. I just want people to be able to sit. We'll put like a. Um, we'll put another couple of these in just to have them. And then. Um, Oh my gosh, the popcorn. People want to take a seat. I was like, why is nobody walking around this enclosure? Because it's d dead. It's a dud. Stupid enclosure. Okay. Yeah, and I've had this game probably for as long as it's been out. I Because uh, I used to love Zoo Tycoon. Or... Roller Coaster Tycoon. I can't imagine I got it very long after it came out. And this is these are the discs from it. I guess I got it. By the time I got it, I was able to get the complete edition. Um, here's what the. Ooh. Ooh. Anyway, I don't remember what the key is or if you need the key. Zoo Tycoon 1, I actually burned an ISO of. Dang it, Zoo Tycoon. Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, I burned an ISO of, which is just like a digital disc version of the game. And so I could run it on any computer anytime, and you don't need the disc to play it because uh, the ISO acts like it is the disc. Um, so that was fun. I used to put that on a bunch of computers at work. <laughs> Not at my current job, but... Uh, at uh, my last job and then like my coworkers and I would play on like our I on sometimes on our off time we would or our downtime we would uh play these roller coasters like you know? YouTube add dislikes back are back. YouTube add dislikes back. Oh I actually do prefer for them to be gone on a smaller scale on a larger scale I can see why but on a smaller scale um, about way back in the day not on this channel but it used to be if I got a dislike then I was more likely to get two or three and maybe not always and maybe it didn't happen really frequently but I do think there is some weight in the idea that People are more likely to dislike a video just because they see other people disliking it and that's not always the case and sometimes some videos do deserve the dislike but uh, for small youtubers I think that not having that dislike button not having the number there I think that oh my gosh dying of old age I think that um, 
it makes a big difference. At least in terms of me. Oh my gosh, Ping Emperor Ping 1 4. They're all dropping like flies. Oh, we've got plenty. Are there still too many enclosures? Because if there are at this point too many shelters, uh, then I think we can safely trash one of them without having to worry about it. Look, they were all upset about it. It said there were too many, so. Complain with the zookeeper. Hold up, I was going to say all that again, not JK. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I, I really do get both sides of why it is helpful to be able to see the dislikes and sometimes there are videos that deserve it so I don't want to make it seem like I'm 100% uh, totally against bringing the dislike button or the dislike numbers back but it never did anything in the past and you'd have to click on a video to even see the dislikes silver certificate most popular zoo 500th guest milestone kind of cool except for silver what do you mean silver <laughs> we need the gold hide buildings hide people hide foliage we're actually filling up, and I don't, I don't know if there's even, um, I don't know if this works like Zoo Tycoon. I think there's a different mode that, you, I think, like, you have to play the campaign to actually, um, hold on, let me check real quick. Uh, Nick's best zoo ever. Uh, let's go back to the main menu for just a second. Uh, sure. I already saved it. Yeah. Tutorial and scenario game. I think scenario is more like Roller Coaster Tycoon in that sense, and we're just playing freeform. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I, I had an idea. Okay. Not having dislikes because of dislike mobs just seems like a lazy reason. I could see it. Even when the creator does unfairly send dislike mob only, at least from what I've seen, one or two are doing it. Well, and the other thing is, is that dislikes don't matter. They don't make a difference. Like, and not, that's not an argument. That's actually, like, me in agreement with you that, um, like, Ultimately, the dislikes didn't affect how the YouTube algorithm worked either. It doesn't make it, it doesn't make a video stop showing up. And so the only thing is like dislikes mentally speaking. If people can view how many dislikes you have on a stream, that says more about the people who are disliking it when it's a smaller YouTuber. And so it says more about the people who are disliking the video. Uh, and so, um, there is a level there that's just unnecessary. It doesn't matter and it shouldn't matter because the dislikes don't matter anyway. So why even get rid of them? Especially when there are certain videos that do deserve to be disliked. So that's why I'm kind of in the middle on it because I understand both sides of the fence. And yeah, I don't know if there are a lot of dislike mobs that normally happen and especially unjustified dislike mobs. So... Yeah, I can definitely see where you're coming from. And I like to have the conversation. And I don't want to make it seem like I'll say one thing until somebody else says something and then I'll change what I'm saying. It's just certain things that I don't have a strong opinion on. I, I just kind of see it. I just kind of see it from my own lens. I don't necessarily see it from how everybody would feel. Um... And since I don't have a super strong opinion one way or another, it doesn't ultimately bother me one way or another. If they brought back the dislike the dislike number, then that I wouldn't care. And if they didn't bring back the dislike, uh, being able to see how many people disliked the stream, then I wouldn't care about that either. So, yeah, it's kind of a mix. And especially in terms of the earlier statement... Um, I don't know. Uh, you, like, I can still see who dislikes my video even if you guys can't. So it's not saving me trouble. Like, 
it's not like by hiding is this large enough for a giraffe I kind of feel like it's not it's not like by hiding the dislike number you're magically making me feel better because I'll see it at some point <laughs> so yeah uh, yeah I can see that um, and I'm, I would be really torn other than the fact that it, it won't ever actually buy, like, it won't ever actually affect me because we won't ever have to worry about, you know, bigger numbers, bigger groups of people coming around. Solitary animals, I want, I want something that wants just like, like just it and maybe like one more. That's all I want. So what, what's an animal that could just have two, but isn't gigantic? A bear, meh. A big feet, meh. Um, we can do saltwater crocodile. Just have like a really small. I think we'll, let's do that. And we need to hire another zookeeper. And really, I, I appreciate the opinion from people who are a little more involved. Like, Gamer Boy, you're actually watching YouTube all the time, and you have better opinions about some of these things because uh, you're more immersed. And it's not to say that I'm not. It's just that, um, you know, I'm, I have to put all of my energy into what I'm doing. I don't have enough time to be able to put energy into certain um, politics about... The way YouTube works. Not enough dirt. Not enough salt water. Okay, so let's pump this thing full of salt water. I like that we did the penguin enclosure the way we did it, and that'll be like the only time we do that because I don't feel like messing with a whole tank. Okay, so the door is here, so let's not put this around the door. Ah, they're running! Ah! The modern dinosaur awaiting. Too much grass, not enough dirt, not enough salt water. Uh oh. Oh, I thought we were out of money. <laughs> Too much grass, not enough dirt, not enough salt water. Alright, so let's turn this down. We'll get more salt water, but like. Just kind of like that. And then we'll fill in over here. We want to make sure that the zookeeper can get in and clean the areas that are actual. Okay, so it looks like salt water is no longer a thing. Let's go for dirt. Boop, boop. Okay, so let me catch up. Um, I think doing it for feelings also doesn't make sense because that point you're just covering your ears and ignoring criticism also true um, in my opinion dislike are actually good if you think about it more dislikes you get on a recommended page um, you get on the recommended page just my opinion uh, and that's totally fine too yeah the one thing about the dislikes is um, you can't tell how much a video has in terms of dislikes until you click on the video so it's at least not going to turn you away initially and also um, Uh, you're still clicking on the video and supporting <laughs> the person even if they've got like the cruddiest channel and they made the worst video because there are definitely I can think of a number of videos that were really awful that never should have been able to be posted too much grass not enough salt water I want to put this dirt over here and then we'll fill in the salt water over here so yeah it's a very tough situation you definitely want don't want to take anything away because um, you know you can now in terms of the constructive criticism I will say um, 
other people seeing the construct this constructive criticism doesn't necessarily do anything for the viewers like uh like um am i oh okay um you know like i can still get that feedback even though people can't see the dislikes but like i said right now i'm just i'm doing what i should not be doing actually and i'm just um I'm just running over, I'm running over both sides, and most of it is to stir on real conversations and real points of view more than it is for me to argue the other side, because I actually don't care, number one, about what they do. Number two, I would be more than happy for them to bring back the numbers, so I don't, I don't, I just mostly like to hear how thought out it is. I'm getting different points the more stuff I bring up. And so that's kind of what I'm looking for too, is just to get, you know, more thoughts and ideal and ideas. Okay, they're happy, so I can take two seconds to catch up. Red Chaos, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. How's it going? Uh, yeah, we're going to do Super Smash Brothers. It'll be in about an hour. We may not stream for the next, well, we probably will stream for another hour. And we might go to another zoo but we'll see what else we can fill in before we do because we've got more space um i think looking at most dislike videos almost all of them are good reasons two of them are just asking for it yeah definitely yeah because a lot of the times when you see the videos that have a ton of dislikes it's actually for a good reason. Unfortunately, you've already clicked on the video and given them their view, and since a dislike doesn't actually matter, then what you're doing is still supporting the streamer or the, the, the content producer. Even if you're disliking it, the things that matter on YouTube are how many people clicked on a video and how long they watched it. Now, if you clicked on it, disliked, dropped out, I mean, that does make a difference because their on average watch time does go down. But that's what's actually what matters more than a dislike is that watch time, the duration. Now, we can't tell on our end because we don't, we don't know how many people watch for how long. But on their end, that's what they need. That's actually the most important thing on YouTube. I could have 50 subscribers, but if my watch time was that of a few million people, which... That's not what I'm trying to say, but all I'm saying is, is that's what YouTube would see as not necessarily a success, but those are the numbers that YouTube would be looking into. And the longer that watch time is, the more recommended the video actually is going to be. Um, why you should like dislike and I mean like and part of me already has heard a lot because I did watch a PewDiePie video and he was discussing it and so yeah definitely I could see it um, and I, I guess YouTube may have had the original intention to uh, try to prevent like cyberbullying but with that said just because the dislikes aren't being seen doesn't mean that they aren't still happening. The person posting those videos is still going to see all the dislikes on their video regardless. You're not saving somebody from cyberbullying. You're saving them from maybe other people seeing, oh look, me and my friends got this video to 20 dislikes, but ultimately that's not going to make a difference. And I don't know how often that actually happens. This is a an in theory scenario that may not ever be something that actually happens in real life. I, I don't know. Um, yeah, because for me, for instance, uh, if I want to go into like my own experience with dislikes, I think when I get a dislike that I must be doing something right because somebody, especially on this level, for somebody to dislike my video, it's probably because they're they've got something going on. I usually just phrase it as like jealousy or stepping on their toes, like. I entered into their domain of videos that they posted and I'm doing well or have successful whatevers and maybe that's what makes them dislike it because they want people to see oh this person has a dislike but yeah for me I actually do appreciate a dislike because it tells me that I'm getting enough traction to the point where you do any large video will have dislikes there's no way that they won't so it's not like 
uh, I don't know if you're if you're on YouTube you have to expect that so it's definitely not um, it's definitely on my end it's definitely never it's not ever been something I viewed as a negative now maybe way back when when I very first started doing stuff on YouTube on a different channel than this maybe sometimes I would be like ouch like oh but then when I started thinking about it in that sense like for like there's nothing there's no post that I've ever posted that um, uh oh Hey, uh, Red Chaos, I'm not sure. Um, people are, are more than welcome to do Smash in the chat on the side. Um, anyway, and I do like having people's opinions. So everything that I'm saying is not to contradict what other people are saying in the chat. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah, that's totally fine. The arenas and stuff in the chat. So no big deal there. Um, Nick's fat. Why did you say that so mysteriously? I'm not sure. I forget what it was that I said. Understand where you're coming from. However, like and dislikes as a YouTuber is also a feedback, so they can understand from the viewer what the viewer is saying. But for trolls, it's a different story. And you know, I do still get, or YouTube content creators do still get those numbers so it's not like you won't see the dislikes it's just that other people don't not that that makes a difference because i do think that criticism is helpful in growth so um i know plenty yeah there are a ton of videos that shouldn't be um might actually be able to get on smash nice clicks counts comment counts even likes still count regardless. Yeah, and actually that's the one thing is that dislikes are just a, it's it's only a physical aesthetic. <laughs> it has no no influence on the um, on what's going on in terms of whatever algorithms they have going on. I don't like the fact. Now, the one thing that I will say is that by removing the dislikes, it almost does feel a little shady because, you know, on a flip side, if I want to be paranoid, is it that YouTube is trying to hide certain videos, like the 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 negative things, like maybe they don't want people to, they don't want advertisers to do, I don't know what it is, but there might be something that YouTube's doing where they think hiding the dislikes makes it so their platform overall looks better, but I don't necessarily think that's the case. That might be what they were thinking, but not what I was. Um, oh yeah, that does, that does help. Um, either way is fine too, in case people don't have Discord. Um, uh, more, it used to be in the past, I used to think it was a little too confusing, but, uh, when it's happening in the chat as far as arenas and stuff, um, at least we're, at least we're all still hanging out, but not a big deal. If you want to just hop in Discord and do it that way, that would be fine too. So this has been a long dislike discussion, and I think it's kind of important. I just wanted to make it more clear, even though, okay, so I really shouldn't be arguing both sides. It's really not a productive way to take it on, but my innocent idea is just that I want to be able to think through what are people thinking? Why are they thinking it this way? Like, what is it that could potentially be good or bad? And the honest truth is they should still have dislikes being shown on videos. You're not saving anybody anything. You're not helping anyone. You're not doing anyone any favors by taking them away. That being said, I also have less than 100 subscribers, and I it doesn't affect me one way or another. So my opinion is... Um, yes, please feel free. Um, if anybody wants to join in to the Smash matches, maybe, yeah, the Smash conversations can happen in Discord. Uh, but if you all want to join in and you don't have Discord, then feel free to. We can at least get some of that um, information out so other people can play while we are hanging out. Yeah, YouTube is definitely hiding cert certain videos. And I think that this really is giving them more room to do stuff 
that maybe people wouldn't be so enthusiastic about but now they can't tell because the dislikes are gone people can't get mad at YouTube for why do you still have this video up when there are this many dislikes and it's this awful of a video so people can't see how many dislikes there are anymore so I definitely want to try to be um, there on the perspectives I don't want to I don't want to make it seem we're going to cut out our marketing I don't care I definitely don't want to make it seem like I'm advocating for keeping the dislike buttons gone. I don't know. There is a part of me that's glad that you can't see them. Uh, because I still get the criticism in terms of dislikes because I can still view them later. However, larger YouTubers, larger videos, dislikes I think do show and make a larger difference. So. On a small scale, it doesn't affect me. On a large scale, I think it does make a difference. Thank you all. Yeah, feedback is important, especially if you're a YouTuber, no matter what. And that's the other thing. When I brought up, like, you know, cyberbullying and things, when I got bullied on YouTube, <laughs> I don't know if I would call it bullying, but when I had a really weird and rough situation with a small group of people in relation to the YouTube content I was pr producing, I wasn't getting dislikes on the videos. It was all happening on Discord, behind the scenes. So, in that regard, you're really not saving anybody anything. You're not keeping cyberbullying from happening on YouTube it's not keeping trolls away it's not doing any good there so in that sense um, YouTube is not helping anyone so then the real question is what is it that made YouTube decide that and part of me does feel like it's a thing about the ads um, you know big videos get ads on them from big companies and maybe big companies don't want their ads to be played on a video that has a ton of dislikes and maybe that's how they make a bunch of money is even though it's got a ton of dislikes it's still getting a bunch of views and still making a bunch of money so YouTube is like well we can just kind of avoid ad companies getting mad for their ads being on super highly disliked videos um, because now nobody can tell and that's not helping either I don't I don't think that's the way that they should roll and it seems like um, AdSense and things like that have been getting more complicated and people are not benefiting as much as they used to in terms of um, YouTube and I feel like a lot of the larger YouTubers now have multiple forms. Like, I feel like it used to be a YouTuber could make enough money from AdSense, and I feel like now uh, they have to pair that with, like, Patreon, or they have to pair that with, you know, something else to keep that going. So, um... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what the benefit is from removing it. I don't necessarily think it was all bad intentions, but I don't necessarily think it was all good intentions either. Um, to me, YouTube removed dislikes too because they want to protect them. Again, people are very sensitive nowadays. It's like if somebody says, OMG, you do not like my ideas, you guys are hurting my feelings. Yeah, and you know... That's the other thing is like, because I think that is what YouTube at least was outwardly saying and doing was, you know, we're trying to protect people from being hurt by all the dislikes, but I can still see all the dislikes on my video anyway, so I'm not being protected, I'm not being helped or saved any trouble because... I can still see the dislike. I can still see if a bunch of people dislike it. It's not. It didn't save my feelings. It doesn't make me feel any better that nobody else can see it because I can still see it. <laughs> I don't know. It's that's a tough one. It's a really tough one. 
I want to put a gate or a fence over here. I wonder if we can take out loans. Jeez, 8,000. But yeah, I, I ultimately think that dislikes and constructive criticism are important. I don't think that you're saving anybody from being trolled by removing it. Uh, mountain... I don't know. It's, it's very difficult to say what the most appropriate move is. Some of me does think that it's some kind of not liability, but YouTube being scared of losing advertisement because advertisers don't want their stuff to be on videos that are being disliked highly or heavily. They might think that it makes them look bad if their advertisement is being shown on a video like that. And ultimately, I do think the real biggest reason, which no offense to YouTube, of course, because I appreciate having the opportunity to be able to produce my own content and stuff, but I think that it's there, it's a money thing and that they're trying to cover their butts. I don't think it has as much to do with protecting people from being hurt as much as it does, as much as that's a convenient excuse to make it sound like it's something better than what it was. Back in the day, a person could say, I don't like your video, and the YouTuber would say, okay. Now someone says, I don't like your video, and the YouTuber summons their army of toxic fans from... Yeah, and you know, and that's another thing, like, that should be, that should be something that a YouTuber shouldn't, they shouldn't be swinging their weight like that. They should, uh, you know, ultimately, you would, in theory, think that you would want to discourage that kind of behavior from your fan base, which is not always the case. I was gone for a sec. Catch me up. Yeah, we're still kind of around the same. Yeah. Seem to remove dislikes so big brands don't get lots of dislikes. That's what I think it ultimately boils down to is they don't want the big brands to pull out because big brands had advertisement on a video that got a ton of dislikes. I think that's um, the way it boils down. Sorry, this isn't necessarily the most exciting, fun conversation forever, but um, it is in interesting to discuss. And also, um, let me see. Uh, let me see. I'm looking at Red Chaos's message real quick. Let's make sure that people. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, that is true too. Okay, Red Chaos is on is on the right track. Uh, I do apologize too. I think it is. Um, I think it does help in terms of keeping our chat clean if we if we have people hopping on Discord and saying um, this is unrelated. If we have people who are like, "Hey, I want to play Smash," hop on Discord and we can get on. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Emergency funding. That's not good. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I do appreciate everybody popping in. I hope, I never want it to seem like people say things and have opinions and then I'm just going to come out and, uh, I'm just going to come out and say whatever crap or whatever. It, it, it is worth discussing and I want to make sure that we have a full well-rounded thought process rather than just me completely agreeing on everything and not saying anything more. I do want to exercise our brains. I wonder if YouTube has paid attention to what people have said, but especially on my scale, it wouldn't matter. Okay, so we're running out of money. <laughs> um, I like the way the zoo looks. We, we really filled it up. We have more space over here. 
but man, this would take a lot of work to turn this into something that would be viewable. I have two empty enclosures, uh, but you know, whatever. Oh no, arena got shut down. It's like League of Legends, literally few people will get interested enough to play the game from YouTube, plus YouTube will go through their sponsors so slowly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds good, gamer boy. Okay, so here's our rating. Animal happiness, 99. Zoo rating, 84. Guest happiness, 84. I wonder what they're upset about. <laughs> Not happy, very hungry, very thirsty. <laughs> they're literally like next to a restaurant. Okay, so before we need more emergency funding, we're gonna save Nick's best zoo ever, and let's. Oops. Oh, I hit no, but it was they asked if I wanted to save. Oops. Let's skip this. This desktop background is fine. Gary's mod. I need to play Gary's mod at some point. But no, I do think it's important to be able to take on that criticism and if you're on YouTube and you can't take the criticism even though it can be hard I mean it's like part of YouTube for as long as YouTube has existed there have been trolls and criticism and so for you to try to reject that just feels it just doesn't feel like you're being realistic I guess okay so basic grass map was, oh wait, we were at large valley, we weren't a basic grass map, basic grass map, basic grass map, basic grass map, oh my gosh, okay, so here we are, in a new zoo, uh, it probably costs too much money to come in, Can we just make it like a ten dollar? Nah. Okay, ten dollars. Ten dollar. Give me the ten dollars or get out. Oh. Large. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh, oh, oh. I'm two. <laughs> I'm twelve years old now. <laughs> All right. Let's keep this show on the road. <laughs> I really should not have thought that was as funny as I did. <laughs> Alright, I'm walking away. Goodbye, good night. <laughs> My work here is done. Oh, man. Uh, okay. You know, I would say that it's a problem that I think I'm as funny as I think I am, but I don't care. We're just going to keep it simple this time. You shouldn't laugh at your own jokes, apparently, but I missed the memo. So, this is a nice little enclosure. This feels like one of those solitary boys again. Big feet. Um, Komodo drag. Okay, we can't. We're not allowed to use any of the animals we already used. So, rhinoceros live alone or in small family groups. So, let's do one rhinoceros. Oh my gosh. Let me put this right here. So that way it's not buzzing on that anymore. Uh, and then we want this guy. And assign it to him. And let's find out. Rhinoceros needs more foliage. Too much grass, not enough dirt, not enough rainforest. Boop. That's actually. It's kind of my favorite part is doing the the ground, but then at the same time, can be a pain. Okay, one rainforest. I'm glad we just restarted. Give us five hundred thousand again. Not enough rainforest floor. Still not enough. It's not enough, Dad. I don't know why. It's just what I always think of is Step Brothers and. It wasn't like the worst movie, but it was not like it was the best movie. Okay, not enough dirt. 
It had its moments. Oh. Okay. Too much rainforest floor. Not enough fresh water. Ugh, I'm never gonna win with these animals. There's some fresh water. Too much rainforest. Not enough fresh water. Okay. There we go. Not enough shelters. Let's give you this. Boop. Okay. All right. And we will be playing Smash after the stream. We'll probably be ending in about 30 minutes or so. We'll probably be done with Paperboy, or we'll be done with this. We'll play a little bit of Paperboy. Get out of here. We are going to be playing Smash after. I'll be recording a video and posting it later, so please feel free to join in. It's been really fun. I've only been able to chat through the, the text chat box so far. Um, but I would like to implement voice chat. I'd like for us all to be able to talk to each other as long as, you know, it's not some wild experience. I can't, we, we would still need to play by the rules basically. So we'll have to try not to swear too much because it's a lot of video to go through to edit. And if I had to edit a lot of the language and stuff out because I can't post the video and have it be any different format than our streams it's it's just it's kind of just the the everyone is welcome feeling and I know a lot of people will end up turning that into oh this is for babies but but I, I've just always appreciated that a little more I, I I would rather people feel welcome and if all that took was me just to keep my own language in check so that people could could hang out and not feel weird about it because I mean we get we have a large age range that comes and watches the the streams and stuff so I just don't want to forget about that I won't talk about anything political other than to say if you have a flag that says F your feelings, then you obviously don't care about values of other human beings. You obviously want to be mean and nasty just so you can be ma mean and nasty, even though you say that. Eh, I'm not going to get into it, but that's probably been my one of my least favorite attributes of America in general is uh, that sentiment. I don't care. It doesn't affect me. I'm not going to get on this because we're really not supposed to do politics stuff. I apologize. Um, I just prefer this pair than just looks better. Like, I don't even think I have this path cobblestone. Anyway, I just feel like if it were flipped. And it would hurt your feelings if it was somebody else saying whatever it was that was on the opposite end. Then why would you do that to other people? Alright. Done with that. Do we have... We do not have a water filter yet, so I don't want to make... A big tank. What animals do we have? Let's make something just huge. Yeah, let's make something for giraffes. So, kind of huge, but not not so huge. It's whatever. Okay. Yeah, in terms of Zoo Tycoon and making actual money. I don't know. <laughs> I can do roller coaster tycoon and make a profitable theme park, but with Zoo Tycoon and just I have way more fun just making the enclosures than I do um <laughs> trying to make a profitable zoo. Uh 
Nice. Glad we are. Yeah, thank you all again for, for coming in. I hope you can all feel welcome to have your own opinions, regardless of what I say. And I hope nobody would feel that if I were saying something that I was saying it against the person who had those opinions. I, I think that feeling these ways about what YouTube is doing is justified. And I feel like leaving YouTube unchecked would be a disservice to, to us all. So it is worthwhile to have people be able to voice the way they feel about what's going on with YouTube right now. Ah, they're running! Why am I so scared of what giraffes look like when they run? Oh, wing it. <laughs> Too much grass. Not enough savannah grass. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Not enough savannah grass. I want to try to make it so that it's not just like weird waves. Too much grass, too much savanna grass. Here's some dirt. Look, it's a big old patch of dirt. And then we probably need fresh water. Too much dirt. I would be happier with more rocks. Not enough sand. Okay. There. More foliage. So we need tall, tall trees. Yeah, and Red Chaos, you were right before in terms of the chat stuff. It is nice for us to be able to play Smash in the meantime, but it is nice to keep the, the chat cleared up too. Just so we can all have an easier time having conversations with each other. Okay, I was like, what? But it's not that they didn't want the trees, it's just they didn't like that specific tree. Man, they really want... We're gonna put a lot of these trees in. Look at all that space they have to run. Still not very happy. Do we have like a small... Oh, this looks... no. They didn't like this tree, right? No, they don't like that tree for some reason. Yeah, yeah, Giraffe 2. Giraffe 2 can quit complaining. You too, draft one. Like I'm not giving them everything. Oh, here we go. This is what I was hoping for. Not enough shelters. A small giraffe shelter. Oop. Yeah, we gotta make sure we have the shelter for the giraffes. And more rocks. Guessing not too many are gonna be needed. Let's get this in here. Cause that really seems to go a long way for the animals. There. Okay. Happiness is improving. 
I don't see any other reason for them to complain, so we'll head train, woof. So we'll come back to to the uh, train. Okay, we'll come back to the train. We'll come back to this here in a little bit and see what they're doing. Uh, I will be taking some suggestions, and I would like to look at, okay, it's 9.30 at the moment. I'd like to look at, okay, one second, everyone. Let's take a peek at Discord. Uh, 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 save. Next other Zoom. <laughs> uh, sure. Save, replace. All right, real quick. Hi, everybody. Here we are. Okay, so here's where we're getting some Smash stuff in, in case anybody wants to look. I'm just taking a peek at the schedule real quick. So welcome to December, everyone. I'm excited. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> we did Zoo Tycoon. We're doing Zoo Tycoon. Uh, Cthulhu Saves Christmas is going to be on Tuesday, which is going to be kind of hilarious. Christmas Adventure Candy Storm I might replace with a different holiday game. Uh, and some of these are kind of hidden. Uh-oh. I don't even know how long that was out for. Okay, so we were just looking at the schedule. I have no idea for how long my microphone just pooped out on me, so <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll just keep on trucking. Got a little more Zoo Tycoon left before we'll get out. Oh, it was only like, okay, cool. Okay. So, YouTube, <laughs> what a place. Uh, I hope that over time we can find a good, good format, a good solution and um something we can all be happy with let's while we have all this money there is an allosaurus let's let's do it let's get this allosaurus thing going that's 300 we're using the most expensive fence and we're gonna heckin okay they can't they can't get out over there we'll put some space so that it's not totally pressed right up against and yeah, that costs 11,000 mm -hmm. there we go uh, dinosaurs Look at this big ol' enclosure. And we're gonna get the Allosaurus, which says they live alone or in small family groups. So one boy, one gil. We're going to 
Um, we're going to um, get a scientist in on this. Okay. Oops. WASD doesn't work. I'm going to put a little path so that way he can get to it. I feel like they shouldn't need a path, the employees, but just in game. Boom. Okay. Now the Allosaurus, even though this is all unknown real information. Oh. oh my goodness. So much. Larger famous cousin Tyrannosaurus Rex sometimes. Oh hey -oh. We got hatching babies. Now they do get bigger. This is their smaller form. Too much grass, not enough rainforest, not enough fresh water, needs foliage, would be happier with more rocks, not enough shelter. So, <clears throat> excuse me, don't mind me, I'm a weirdo. Actually, no, I'm not. Well, actually I am, but I don't care. It's not a negative thing. Oh. Sometimes I'll like, I'll like say like, oh, blah, blah, blah about the very few people who will watch, but not in like a way that actually disses my own channel, but uh, there's this person, their name was uh, Fritz the Night Owl, and they had this show that they used to do back in the day, and he always would say, um, good evening, basically like, good evening my 12 viewers out there in the in the universe or whatever, and I just always thought that was funny. So that's kind of more what I think if I, if you ever hear me saying something about um, how not many people there are or whatever, it's not actually because I, because it bothers me or because I care, but because um, it makes me think of Fritz the Night Owl. I, like, I would still say that even if this was like blowing up all the time. I just like the, the whole reason why, and this has nothing to do with anything other than just me talking about something, the whole reason why I like doing YouTube in the first place is because it exercises like my creativity and it gives me an excuse to play video games, um, and then it also gives me something consistent. I needed the consistency of a schedule um, because my life for a long time was just total chaos. <laughs> And so when I started doing this, um, it really went a long way for my own mental well-being. And so, yeah, for me, it's just about us hanging out, us having a nice time, talking about video games and stuff that we like, talking about whatever it is, and not necessarily I can't believe how many people do or don't. It's cool, but honestly, like, my goals have already been satisfied. All I wanted was just this very small group of people that we could all get together and enjoy video games together with each other. Um, not related. I just was thinking about it. They sound so mad. Look at all that meat. Like, what are those cows? Do 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 do. Still happy faces. Still happy faces. Happy happy happy. Yeah, cause look how upset these dinosaurs are. They're well suited. Okay, I'm still getting happy faces, so we're 
I'm gonna just pump out. Cause that's that's the trouble with dinosaurs. Okay, good. There it goes. Is that they can get upset and then never come back from it. So yeah, I see that. It says it's well suited. Whoa. Oh, they destroyed the tree. Now, I don't see any reason for them to be unhappy. Gee whiz. I mean, that one's hungry. We'll come back and check on them in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll still go for about 10 more minutes and then I'll play a little Paperboy, take a two second break just to, um, just to uh, run out, do a couple things and then I will get back on get the recording started and get smash started unfortunately I've been recording in 720p as well because it it takes a lot to change the resolution between streaming and recording so I'm just doing them all in 720p for now but hopefully that's okay for me I don't know don't like rubble did I make the rubble no you did Quit trampling trees. Maybe that's what they were so upset about. It looks a little happier. Come on. Ah. Okay, let's try this. No, we're not going to do it. We're just leaving them. If you don't like it, and if you don't get happy, it's not on me. <laughs> I gave them everything they asked for. I gave them everything. I feel like gross when I say that like that. And then we're gonna make this big old enclosure right here. Oh man, tank. Boop, 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 boop. Boy, oh boy, was that a lot of money. And I want to put the biggest stinking water animal in here. It's a whale. Hammerhead shark. A whale shark. Blam. We got whale sharks. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's honestly not a single reason why that they shouldn't be happy. <laughs> and that is what drives me nuts about some of the dinosaurs. Hungry guests? Oh yeah, I guess they need food or whatever. Okay. What, you want to eat or you want to see happy animals? Who's the cruel one now? Zoom in. I'm sure people need to use the restroom as well, so let's go ahead and get this. You can play on this swing set right next to the bathroom. A um, couple vending machines just to have them. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, drink stand. Hot dogs, cotton candy, um, let's put some park picnic, trash cans. And then we're gonna oop.
good enough. <laughs> it's not symmetrical, which is going to bother me, but we're kind of getting closer to the end of all this, so it doesn't really matter. Um, an aquatic gift stand. Oop. Oh, I forgot. We got, I got whale sharks and I didn't do anything with them. Okay, I need more foliage. Okay. Here's some clams. Actually, is that? Yeah. <laughs> that sound effect. Stinking Allosaurus. I'll never be happy. Okay. Sometimes I look down too late. Don't see the light. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. Dang it, train. It's like, hey, hey, I'm a train. Pay attention to me. Everybody. Uh oh, they don't like those. Crap. Crap, they don't like those either. Wah. You know what? <laughs> boy, oh boy. You know, if I if I had more these outsources, you jerks, you jerks, doesn't like rubble. Like, let's talk about the most pain in the butt animals. <laughs> I always liked the Allosaurus, and then I could never get them to be happy. The Loch Ness monsters will do that sometimes. Sometimes I don't know, like a bunch of the, a bunch of the, uh, oh sorry, a bunch of the dinosaurs will get like that. Uh, yeah, by whale shark. Oh my gosh, so sorry. The T Rex loose. I'll let it. Okay, hold on. Wait, let's go back. As our finale of Zoo Tycoon, <laughs> let's uh, release the dinosaurs. I wish that they were bigger, but we'll just do it as is. Okay. Oh man, I, I remember that load screen used to take so stupid long. Okay, so the scientist, cannon. The ranger. Cannon. I don't know where this ranger is. That's okay. Fine. Source. And to make matters even worse, We've trapped everyone in, and uh, if I move the dinosaurs, then I'll automatically put them into like cages. All right. This is so horrible. <laughs> oh no! Oh, they're all yelling. That dinosaur is just like running, panic, just like they are. Um, it feels and now I feel bad for the Allosaurus, but. 
some of them will grab. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Except for this person seems to be okay. I was gonna say some of them get eaten. <laughs> We're just like watching the chaos. I wonder where the other one is. I'm waiting for it to get another. Oh, more animals available for purchase. Where is the other one? There's one. There's the other. This one has really made it out. And like, people can't run because we've covered up. The only interest. Oh no, it's letting them out! Oh my gosh, that screaming. This is, this is quite the chaos here. Alright, I've had enough of that. Gee whiz. They're just kind of running around. They're like, we're just as panicked as you are. We shouldn't even exist. We had the perfect enclosure set up for you. Okay, let's get to Smash. I know, those screams. Alright, that was kind of what happens. At least we saw one person get tossed. Normally they get eaten, but in that case, I think it was like a small glitch. Oh no, murder! <laughs> Uh, I actually will end up making the Smash Arena only because most people have added me on the Switch and then I can control the way the, the arenas operate. But feel free to join us in Discord. Um, I'm going to set up for Paperboy. We'll do that really quick and then um, we will... Uh, I'll take like... I'll need like 10-20 minutes to get all my stuff set up and then we can move on to smash let me go ahead and <laughs> um let me go ahead and and eh, i don't think any, i don't think he has any issues with uq so no worries there um i do like being able to have us all play smash while i'm doing other things but i do see how that can get a little confusing in terms of us talking to each other and talking on smash so we'll we'll work on that but but there's no worries there please please feel free to join in uh let me let me get this figured out uh but yeah you know if i didn't have anybody show up then i just wouldn't record but we normally do have a few people show and it's usually a good time so it's usually a good time it's been a good time all all two or three times that we've done it so far but yeah please feel free join us yeah yeah don't worry about that kimono um, I'm hoping that over time, maybe we can get the rest of our Smash peeps in, but um, honestly, excuse me, whoever can join, uh, feel free to, and if you can't, it's not a huge deal. Oh. Yeah, that's our schedule. Um... Yeah, and I would like to say again, um, I guess probably not this time, but this coming week I'm going to really try hard to remember to have my friend help me um, do some testing on the audio from Discord. Because there's a couple things that happen. Um, when we talk on Discord, if I were to play it through the speakers, then we would probably get an echo. So that's the first technical issue to get over. The other technical issue is that um, 
if I plug in my headphones so that I can hear and we don't get the echo, then it's a different audio source and it doesn't get picked up. So I either have to add a new source in or I have to, um, I'm not sure yet how that works. So that, that's been, those are the two audio things that I need to get figured out before we can do voice chat fully. But I would like to do voice chat with everybody in the soon, in the near future. So in the soon future. So I, I, I hope that we can get that figured out. Let me, I'm going to mess up all of my audio. So if it gets out of sync, that's, that's why is because I'm getting through. Okay. Do do. I don't think I need to do that one. I don't need to do that one. And also, my voice is not in sync with my mouth. Do do. Boop boop. Boop boop. But yeah, if I forget, Red Chaos. Um. I either have you or or the the other. I'll have someone help me test the Discord between now and next week, and so that way we can actually get this going. Woo! This is way too loud. We'll just do 32 tonight. Uh, I don't want to. Fix it. I'm being lazy. Uh, Paperboy crop. Oops. Ow. <laughs> Boo. Oh, I don't know if I played. I had to have played Paperboy. No, yeah, whatever. Okay. Ba -do 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 -do. Here we are. Okay. Paper Room. I want to just do a little bit of Paper Boy and then we will be back. I'll be back. Uh, I'm going to say between 10 and 10.30 just to be safe. But basically I'm just going to go grab a drink. Uh, use the restroom TMI. <laughs> and, uh, and just uh, take two seconds. And then I'll get the stream started. So if you're not in Discord... You can still join, you're still welcome. Uh, just wait to see me on Smash and then. Uh, crap. <laughs> and then um, uh, you should be able to just search for my arena and join that way. It might take, you know, a couple minutes to set the arena up, but then it'll be available. So I'm only doing friends, so please add me on. Uh, the Nintendo Switch because I'm not I'm not going to do a public arena I, I don't want um, I don't want anybody else joining in I just want people who come to the stream to be playing so and if we get a few people then we'll play for as long as it's fun if not we won't usually it's about a couple hours worth of a video and it takes it takes eight hours to upload with the internet that I have now, at least, if not longer. And then also, I will be going out this weekend, so um, this up-and-coming Smash Underground um, may release later than Sunday. I think normally it's like, uh-oh. Woo! I think normally it's been Sunday or Monday that I've been posting them so far, and... Um, I'll just keep you all posted. If nothing else, we'll be posting it uh, on Tuesday. I want to say that it's only the people who come who are the ones who watch afterwards, and that's totally fine. It's Numbers are fun on YouTube, but if I was doing YouTube for the numbers, then I would go insane. So I don't... I just, I just like to create a nice welcoming environment that everybody can feel comfortable in and then also share your ideas now of course we do stay away from certain topics but it's the the topics that don't belong here politics religion that kind of stuff uh, has no room on on the channel there's there's not going to be any good way to have a conversation about any of that so hopefully that makes sense and 
Hopefully, we have a nice, I think we have a nice little group of people. Our little community of people, I would like to say, is a really nice one, and I feel like we could use more of this <laughs> online, which is why I wanted to do this in the first place. Um, regardless of, of how many people end up liking it, appreciating it, taking advantage or not. So there are plenty of huge YouTubers, and people can go watch them. Totally fine. Normally, uh, yeah, normally we quit after a day. I think that's good. <laughs> I like just doing one day and then just kind of cutting it there. Oh, adult Aang. I will not get into how much I love Avatar The Last Airbender, but I do. Anyway. Thank you all for watching tonight. This has been really fun. I really appreciate the opinions about the dislikes on YouTube videos, and I hope that no one felt upset or that I was trying to um, devalue anyone's opinions, because I would like to say that you all, the things that I read in the chat were right. and. To take away the dislike, I think, is doing a disservice overall, but what can you do? Anyway, it's been fun. We're going to be playing on Tuesday. Tuesday marks the first holiday game. It's going to be a Christmas one. I want to look up on Steam and see if I can find at least, like, either a Hanukkah game or something else. I want to replace Christmas Adventure Candy Storm with a holiday game that is not Christmas. So I'll look into it and see what I can figure out. Uh, but thank you all for watching. We're going to be doing Smash Underground after this, so please feel free to join in. Give me 10, 20 minutes. At its worst, we'll start at 10.30, but that would be the absolute latest. We should not be starting that late, but in case I got caught in conversation or something. Um, anyway, it's been really fun. Thank you all so much for watching. Of course. Unfortunately, Mr. Bill, he knows what time it is. And he jumped the gun. Whoops. But <laughs> thank you all for watching. It's been fun. It's been real. I wish I could get Mr. Bill to just hang out. But I can't. Anyway, uh, until Tuesday, I hope you all have a nice weekend. And I will catch you all in the next stream. Bye, everybody. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. I don't have any music to dance to, so it's just awkward silence. Anyway, bye. Love you. Bye.